here we are back in the headquarters of Pigsicle Barbecue. We are going to do the McRib. Well, not really the McRib, but we are going to make our version of the McRib. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to, to Pigsicle Barbecue. barbecue. Presto, one. Presto, two. Got two racks. Let's get going. We'll dump this out. Pull them out of their little protective coating. I know. Guru Piggy's going to say you're talking and you're not even there. But I was here because you heard me. Okay. So here we got our St. Louis cut side ribs. Okay, there's lots of meat on these things. We will uh, first off wipe them down. For those of you who know ribs, if you look back here, we have the silver skin. We're getting it down on this video here. Uh, so we're going to pull that silver skin off on both of these. Then we'll put a rub on it. Uh, we're not going to smoke these because it's just the McRib that we're making. Uh, we're just going to put them in the oven. So let's get going and pulling the silver skin off. Best thing I found for this, you can get at most of your local grocery stores, is an oyster shucker. Uh, best thing. Uh, first off, get find a bone, which won't be too hard. Work this in under the bone, under the silver skin on the bone. Grab a piece of paper towel, grab a hold of that. Pull it off. Okay, so that didn't take too long. That's one done. Both ribs are now done. We're not going to worry about trimming them up. This isn't a barbecue competition. I'll leave most of this fat on there. Not that big of a deal. I like some fat on my uh, meat anyways. Uh, so let's get the rack out. We'll put them on the rack. And then we will uh, put some, some uh, rub on it. Just to be a little bit neater, we'll put a little parchment paper down. Less clean up. Because I'm going to put rub on them. So we'll put the rub on the back side first, then we'll flip them the other way, put the rub on the top, and then we're good to go. So here we have my own rib rub that I've come up with over the years. This is the rub I use for competitions. Again, don't be scared to put some on. Don't they say the more the merrier? Are you going to be selling this rib rub at Bixby? All of my rubs and sauces are all for sale at all barbecue competitions that we attend, so yes. Okay, even though it is called a rub, I don't like to rub it into the meat because you will tear. Um, I always just pat, pat it down, just so it sticks. Okay, so what we'll do, once we get these rubbed, we're going to put them in the oven. It's going to take about two and a half hours. Uh, after two and a half hours, we'll take them out and we should be able to pull the bones out. Uh, then our meat will be ready, but in between time, we will work on making our barbecue sauce uh, for the McRib. Uh, we got to figure out how to call that a McPigsicle or a Pigsicle sandwich or... A so this is one of my favorite sandwiches. Also, we will be doing the ultimate BLT. 
Uh, we'll be doing the ultimate bacon, which will probably have upwards of between 20 and 30 slices of bacon in it. It's a very good sandwich. I usually eat two of those every morning. And then it's straight to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there we are. Do you want to do a side Ribs picture? Ribs all rubbed. Have you been? Nope. No side pictures. Costs extra for that. As I said, we put this parchment paper down, so the cleanup would be super easy. And if you look, presto, super easy, nice and clean. We'll put our ribs back in on this tray. I got them sitting on a rack, that way they'll get a little bit of heat from underneath and not just cook. Uh, now we're gonna put a little apple cider vinegar down in the bottom just to help steam them. Okay. Here's our apple cider vinegar. Just put enough in the bottom just to coat the bottom. There we go. Okay, two and a half hours, 350 in the oven. Uh, in the meantime, we will make some barbecue sauce to go on this. Get our pickles and onions cut up all ready to go. And maybe go clean the driveway off. Okay, here we are back after two and a half hours. Uh, we're gonna try pulling out the bones, then we'll put some sauce on it, put it back in the oven, broil it for about uh, two to five minutes. Okay, let's get these sauced up. Once we get them sauced up, we'll put them back in the oven. On broil. Get some nice, uh, some nice kind of browning on it. Okay, there we go. We'll put them back in the oven. Gonna have to keep an eye on them so that they don't burn because we do have the broiler on. Okay, there we go. Pickles and onions are ready. Uh, now we just gotta hope the ribs finish up here soon and we can start making a rib sandwich. Anyways, let's get making a rib sandwich. Our rib sandwich. Let's try it. And that is good. Mm. Wow. Because Guru Piggy missed it the first time when I said this is a great sandwich, she wanted me to say it again. But it's not a great sandwich, it is a fabulous sandwich. McDonald's, eat your heart out. <laughs> 